Hey, it's Oliver. And Luca. And today we're going to be talking about how we got our PS5s and if you should get one from a scalper or not. Alright guys, we're going to start off by telling you guys our story and how we got our PS5s or how Oliver didn't get his PS5. Pretty much. And uh, at the end we are going to explain whether or not you should get a Scout to PS5 or not. Or just how you should buy it. Yeah. So basically how our story begins is on the launch day of when the PS5 came out. That day Jake was extremely lucky and managed to get a pre-ordered one. Yeah. And when any of us tried it was pretty much impossible and we couldn't get it. Yep. And after that, we've all been searching. We actually had, for like every single website, like EB Games, Walmart, eBay, Costco, everything, you guys. We tried as much as we could. We kept on looking. And Ethan got extremely lucky because he had a cousin whose friend was a, res uh, was a resale. And he was able to get uh, both of them off of his cut. Well, actually, he got the Xbox and the PlayStation 5 off of his cousin. And he, have, uh, he didn't get the Xbox. His cousin got the Xbox. Yes, exactly. He, 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 to make it, if you're confused, Ethan's cousin's friend worked for EB Games. So anyway. He, were, he was able to get the PS5 because of his cousin. And we were all like, went back on the search, like in Ready Player exactly. One, when, that one guy, when the main character got the key. Because pretty much when Jake got his and we tried, we just gave up because you couldn't find any. As soon as we Ethan got one, our eyes all opened. We were like, okay, we can get one. And one time, Oliver came in extremely clutch and sent me a bundle. And I was debating it, and then I realized I don't have much time. I sent it straight away and ended up getting it at a pure chance. Exactly. And anyway, just so that you've got a little context here, I was the one trying to find one so bad, like more than anybody else. I was subscribed to so many Twitter notifications and Instagram notifications. So as soon as one came up, I could get it right away. I still don't have a PS5. I'm just going to say that. Cause anyway, I found one that was a bundle, like Luca was just saying, yeah. and I didn't want to get that one because I don't need to get the disc one. There's a disc one and a digital. I don't really have any discs. Mine are all digital games. So I don't need to pay like 150 or $200 more for the disc one. So yeah, I'm trying to wait. <laughs> Damn, okay. Anyway, so I saw that bundle. I sent it to Luca. He managed to get it. Yes. So uh, anyway, to continue the story, uh, shortly after that, Riley managed to find... Um, the same uh, same bundle again, except for Spider Man. Exactly. Even though Ratchet and Clank, um, like we said in our stream, really cool. Highly suggest. Yes. So by the way, if you're confused as to what we mean by bundles here, Luca got a bundle with two controllers, the PS5 and Ratchet and Clank, and a one month subscription to PS Now. I still have it. I never used. Exactly. It. <laughs> Riley got the same thing. Just instead of Ratchet and Clank, he got. Uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales. Anyway, so Riley managed to get his. Now that meant I was the only one that did not have one out of the five of us, let's say. And that's say, kind of like the end of the story. Which is kind of, you know, karma if you want to call that. I was looking so much. But anyway, that's, that's pretty that's much the end of the story. Karma works. Not karma, but anyway, it's kind of Bad weird. luck. So anyway, we want to explain right now why I can't get one. Because no. we've, like, and, and why... Like, this whole entire... Everybody's trying to find one, right? Okay. It's hard. I'm going to give you a little bit of explain to some of you who don't explain. And this is probably... <laughs> uh, I'll put something right here where you guys can just skip this part if you just are curious about certain things. Here. So number one reason, not enough. Because of COVID, they have to seriously limit how many PS5s they can make. And, and the chip really, shortages. The chip exactly. shortages are a big problem. And it really screwed, one, the... The amount of PS5s that are being sold, exactly. and two, uh, well, their quality. Like the controllers, actually, for the first couple, were not that great, by the way. And uh, yeah, they're getting second, better. So yes. Yeah. Second reason, uh, which is the worst reason, and probably why you click on this video, scalpers. Yes, exactly. Scalpers. They just buy them all. Buy them all. That's why they're gone instantly. That's why. Like you could, I can't find one. <laughs> yes, exactly. So Scout what we want to explain is basically. So remember how we were talking about the bundles and how Luca was saying I wasn't sure if I wanted to get it, but then I just got it. Well, here's the problem: they only sell them in bundles. So if you don't want Ratchet and Clank or the PS Now subscription or even an extra controller, you're kind of screwed. That's your only way to get the console. And then there are even worse bundles, and they start like at, uh, okay, we're in Canada, so Canadian dollars. Um, if let's say. Um, with taxes included, where we are. Riley's was like, uh, in the end, 
like 1,200 because didn't he get the one with like everything no, no, in it? No, no, no. It was the same as yours. Oh, never mind. Then. Both so, of ours cost so exactly to, So to explain, the digital version alone, just the PS5, cost $633 with taxes, okay? The disc PS5 costs about 750 Fifty, if I'm not wrong, I could be wrong. Seven hundred thirty, seven fifty, I think, with taxes included. Now, Luca got the bundle, so that literally puts the money all the way up to nine hundred and ninety thousand, uh, nine thousand, nine hundred ninety dollars, right? I think something like that. No, a thousand. Almost, so a thousand bucks. Well, plus rounded tax. up, like it was nine hundred and ninety, like nine. Right. So pretty much a thousand dollars with taxes included. Now, there were some that started at $1,000 because guess why? They put the remote controller in there. They put the Pulse 3D headset in there. They put the game, they put the other stuff, whatever. People don't buy that controller. That controller is like 50 bucks. No one buys it. It's it, not the controller. I mean like this TV remote looking thing. No one buys it. They add it in there. So the reason why you can't find one just alone is because they don't sell them. So they just put it in the bundle and they're like, okay, if somebody wants a console, they're gonna have to get this. And that's my problem. I don't want that. I don't need it. So I got to wait. That's pretty much as simple as that. Yes. And uh, the problem is the scalpers, though, really. They just okay. buy them all. They sit yes. there all day waiting for it. And it's kind of annoying. Yeah. So, so yeah. Uh, I know some of you have probably just skipped looking for exactly the point when we actually talk about, like, the scalped PS5, like it says in the title. Uh, should you buy a scalped PS5? Now, I'm just going to say, I've thought about it many times, because I cannot, for the life of me, get one. I really want one, I can't find it. So, I'm also thinking, do I go for scalp? But at the same time, it costs so much more. Yes. So, to is it worth it? To give you some context, like, they use, like, let's say you have a PS5. A digital PS5, which is $630. let us say you have a digital PS5? Will be $750. Exactly. It'll be sold for a disc version. And... Let's say that you just want the disc version. It actually costs not an extra hundred, not an extra two hundred, but a full thousand dollars. They make it as expensive because they know a lot more people are looking for the disc, and people will buy it. Now, here's the thing: is it worth it to buy a scalped PS5? Probably not, unless you're flipping really have a lot of money to spend on it and really is hell desperate. Now, yes, I get it. You're probably like, oh, I'll just grab it. Now he, well, you could be spending the same amount, getting even more with a bundle. Even and if it's useless to you. Even here, if I don't want that controller. Even if I don't want the game. At least you have a bit of value of some sort, rather than wasting money. Yes. And also, with, well, exactly, with uh, buying a new one, there is a lot smaller oh. chance you actually get scammed. Now, yes. Here's Wait, a actually, of before, one of the scams that you may not even notice, warranty. You don't get any with a scalp PS5. Yeah. Keep that in mind. Or you will sometimes, but very rarely. Keep that in mind. Anyway, you were saying. Yes. You, people have been literally buying PS5s, and they're like, you can't open it or it loses its value. So they give you a PS5 full of rocks, sand, and sometimes people even digitally print fake PS5s just to scam you. So, if you don't want that happening, we highly suggest you buy brand new. Yes, there are a couple things you can look out for. Like, if you're really desperate, there are some things you can look out for. Always try and get the serial number if you can, or, you know, whatever. And, but like, again, it's just not as worth it. You're not, it, like, if it's a thousand bucks for a digital one, where you can get it for like, the same thousand bucks, with all the other stuff in it, it's not quite worth it. Like, it, you're, you're better off just sitting on the website or not even just sitting on the website, just sign up for notifications like I did. I could have gotten one a heck of a lot of times, just I'm not getting the bundle, I can't buy that. I really don't want that here's stuff. Here's a, honestly, here's a suggestion that the Dragon Studios teams does suggest you do. If you have a friend who also wants it, both look out and sign up for every single website and you both attempt to buy uh, one. You can sign yes. up on different accounts and make sure to try and get both. Because you may not get both, but you may get one. And if you get both, you can give one to your friend. We do not, if you're here as a scalper, we really do not want you guys here. Guys, please, come on. We People would like to have some. I would really like one, but I can't get one because of you. So please, just, I understand it's a heck of a good profit. That I can understand, man. I get that. But like, come on. Also, 
a big thing for scalpers if you are a scalper. Uh, as soon as the proper restock happens, all your PS5s become worthless. They become worth way less yes. because it was pre-bought and could be a scam. So if you are doing it, make sure to try to sell them as fast as possible. <laughs> yeah, Luca given the scalpers information. Um, but I think we're pretty much done. But before I want to say quickly, um, first of all, we... I, or at least I would think anyway, because Christmas time, okay, we're not close to Christmas yet, but we're getting there. And there'll be a lot those, you know, weeks and stuff. I suggest start looking around now if you want to get it for somebody for Christmas, because you will not get it for Christmas yes. if you don't look now. Make sure to order it now for that special somebody. If that special somebody is me, uh, DM me the serial code so I can pick it up. We'll find out a uh, location we can go, and we'll just pick up the PS5. Pretty I much. I don't care. Anytime, any place in the world, I will take doubles. Exactly. And make sure, you know, if you're going to buy one for that special someone, make sure to, you know, send the money to us. We'll reroute it to them. You know, pretty easy. Yep. All right. Well, uh, enough joking for today. We will see you guys next time, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Yes. Oh, by the way, uh, in our last stream, I don't know if you checked this out or not, but... In our stream where we did our Q&A, you can find it should be a bit before this video. Uh, it's our live Q&A. And we, the link right here. Yes. Um, we said that if it got 50 views, we would send, a, we would show a picture of my two cats. And if it gets 100 views, we're going to show a picture of Lucas' cat with a pirate hat. Now, we're doing a epic special deal. If this works, then we will throw, if this video gets 100 views, I will post this video. <laughs> what? <laughs> I will post a picture of my dog with a hat, with a uh, baseball cap. Exactly. Exactly. So get this video to 100 so get views. get this video to 100 and you get that. Yes. And we'll see you guys next time because this is already a bit too long. And we'll see you guys. And hope yes, and get the stream sure to, to like 100. We'll see you guys. Like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye.